from Miracle Post Studios in New York City. Welcome to What In Concern Me, your favorite news and current affairs quiz show. I am your host, Dr. Jackery Damages. All right, welcome back. That's our man, Newson Mwike. Uh, he's now going to be a very important member of the of the cabinet. But did you over here, did you hear this story that um if uh Atiku tells Tinubu today to fire Mwike that he will do that? I heard it and I believe that. <laughs> Be because the president, Bola Ahmed Tinubu and Atiku, are pretty much like brothers. They are friends outside politics. They are business partners. They, they, they've been together. They've been in the trenches together for long. So, yes, there's a lot going on between them than meet the eyes. Uh, yes, I think I believe that. If he said uh, fire him, he will fire him. But I don't think that way it will come to that because... Uh, as far as I'm concerned, I think he's one of the most important, important joker in this administration. He's, I mm. said he's a joker for a reason, but he's also very important mm. <laughs> in terms of... Uh, so so uh, what are you hearing about this, this idea that, um, that, um, that the Tinubu's team, that they're putting pressure on Atiku to drop this case in, in, in Chicago? But well, that's that's politics. That's also part of it. I mean, what do I expect? I don't expect... Uh, I expect stuff like that because that is what the 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 people the general people want to hear so i mean some people are excited now that oh there's actually something there that will come as far as i'm concerned there's nothing there but there's every need since the since there's so much interest in that area so there's every need for them to start to be generating uh uh phrases news anything that comes for it that will catch the people's attention so yes i i'm not surprised if that will transpires but at the same time it's expected more to come this is not just right. going to be coming from the both team at this at this at this uh at this point it's just for them to it's it's is a, is, a, is a battle of relevance if they mm -hmm. don't if they don't talk about all those things they will be forced to talk about the policy of the current government and that's what they don't want so that's that's how i see things from the from what is happening within because with the chicago uh saga all right thank you you got that you got that right so one last quote for you i chose my methods of intervention without the permission of social media border patrols so where you find a gap just pick up the baton where last deposited and stop whining and belly aching who said that do you mind repeating it again? Say from the beginning. I choose. Uh, okay, okay. Let me repeat. I choose my methods of intervention without a permission, the permission of social media border patrols. So where you find a gap, just pick up the button where last deposited and stop whining and belly aching. Whew. This, this, is more, this is more like an American politics. <laughs> no, Nigeria. 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 Uh, well, well, I think okay. Should I say former president Buhari? No, no, Buhari. no, 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 no. Buhari cannot speak like this. <laughs> okay. Wait, 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 wait. Oh. That's that's huh? beyond his pay grade. <laughs> oh man, I, I, I'm I'm having this impression that he's very close home. He's somebody that is. It's actually I'm surprised why the, these writers went went there, but he's somebody very very uh, important. He, he he was actually talking about the obedience. Okay, that's the hint. Wait, is he's talking about the obedience or he's talking to the obedient? Yeah, you know, is yeah a statement on the obedience. No, is, is he talking to the obedience or no, is, it's, it's, it's a statement he, he, made, he, made, he made a statement about the obedience. He was reacting to the obedience. Uh, we have no uh, idea. <laughs> Should I say Obi himself? <laughs> no, we cannot be talking about no, not Obi. He, say, is he talking to or talking uh, of? Oh. I wanted okay, to I, I wanted to say that uh, he won the Nobel Prize. 
<laughs> but then, but then, only one person. <laughs> oh, that's that's interesting. When he talked that, where did he say that? In, in a statement, I, I, I this is amazing. The, the the people that came up with this now, it's amazing. I didn't even know that that that's, statement. That's, but they they thought you were talking about like, this useful, ex useful, a useful exuberant. What he did at the young, as a young man. No, no, he was writing a certain titled "Fascism on Course." He was responding to the attack uh, after they gave him after the interview on. Um, on TV, where he basically called called them, um, where he called them names. Mm. Yeah. So, but anyway, Ovie, you did very well. You got three. Ah, I got four. No, three out of four. This, wow, which one? I, which one did I miss again? I always mix this, this one. Yeah, I gave you three three quotes. I miss one. Yeah, you missed one. Oh, so I thought were, this. I thought they were five. So okay. okay. No, they were not five. They were okay. three. Okay. Well, they were four. Yeah, now, you got. Now I'm confident. Bumi will not. Bumi can only get one. So. <laughs> <laughs> no, the discourse are tough. I don't know where this people came from. That's why um, Bumi will get one. If he, if he get more <laughs> than one, that's it. Uh, that's Yakubu's involved. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Bumi, are you ready? Um, yes. If you will, <laughs> if we will reduce purchasing power of the people we can further slow down the economy let's widen the tax net who was speaking Bola Tinubu. Bola Tinubu. Yeah, where was this saying this and what, what's the contest either he was wait wait <sighs> he didn't speak a lot i've said this before <laughs> so the only the literally just two options either it was in the uk when they went to the Chatham House or doing campaign, so I have no idea. All right, all right, we'll take that as a as a good answer. Uh, the next one is: This country is so unfair to some of us. That's it. Yeah. Uh, Very big man said it. He doesn't he doesn't have to say more? <laughs> but for him to complain that the country was unfair to people like him, he has a private jet. Mm. I don't know. You don't know. <laughs> Ophir, Ophir, do you know the answer? Ah, uh, Uzakalo. <laughs> Uzakalo. <laughs> he was speaking at the end of the um the Senate mm. session of last last season where he was complaining yeah. that the country was unfair to people like him. So many it's people crazy. Like I think if we have only five billionaires in Nigeria, he's <laughs> one of them. But the uh, country is not fair to him. It's not fair to him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what? Yeah. All right, for me, the next one is if you want to gift me something, come to my DM. Buy me sorrow. Call me. Uh I want to say Dino Milai. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Uh, chef Dami, oh, Ovia, do you know him? I don't know. If you know, if you know chef, if you know chef uh, Hilda, if you yeah. get the question of Hilda, you should be able to get this one too. That's why I say this is rigging. This is rigging. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I, I'm seeing this one first. I don't know who. Is <laughs> a is the, is a, the the girl that contested for the oh, after, woman. after oh. Hilda. Oh. Oh, Dami. Yeah, after Hilda won, Dami, oh, yeah, after Hilda won, oh, she yeah, went. Yeah, I remember, yeah. I remember now. <laughs> Dami, yeah, yeah. Did she break the record, no? Nah, she no. didn't even make the record. No, she didn't. Yeah, All right. But okay. it was a good exercise for her. It was a good thing. <laughs> All right, this is the last one, Bumi. You just got, you got only one for now. Last one. God has blessed my family. We don't need Nigeria's wealth to survive, but to do the right thing. That's why we're here. Who said that? Um, the first lady. First lady. Uh, what's, what's her name? Something to know. <laughs> <laughs> Something to know. Actually, that's a good name for her. Something to know. <laughs> Introducing the first lady of Nigeria. Something to know. <laughs> All right. We need God too. Right. <laughs> so, so they said this is where we stand. Uh, Ovie has 12 points in total, while Bumi has 17 points. Ah. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> so, so Bumi is leading. Um, this last segment is where I will give you three stories and you tell me which one is wrong. Three stories, you tell me which one is wrong. Uh, I will start with you, Ovie, and then we'll go from there to, to Bumi. Um, I will read out three stories and one of them is one of them is wrong. Uh, you tell me which one. Ovie, your time starts. Oh, there's no time in here. Okay, this first story is this. To be a farmer in peace again, residents of Farkama community held a peace meeting with bandits. The letter came with guns and military camouflage. True or wrong story? And the next one is Tinubu urges Commonwealth nations to pay special attention to small and medium businesses at the investment forum organized by the government of Bangladesh. And then the third story, Nigerian police arrests popular politician following a petition by members of his community of land grabbing and intimidation using deadly force. One of these stories is true. The other ones are false. Uh, where do I start from? The truth one or the first one? I know for sure Bangladesh, only Peter will be that can visit Bangladesh at this point. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I understand that's his second home, so that's false. Okay, uh, the story of uh, the Nigerian police arrests popular politician following a petition by members of his community of land grabbing and intimidation using the left force. And then the other one is to be able. To, to be able to farm in peace again, residents of a Fakama uh, community held a peace meeting with bandits. Uh, they came with uh, guns and military uh, camouflage. Yeah, I think that's it. That's it. That's it. That, that sounds like the more factual, the more true story there. Good job. Good job. <laughs> the, the beer got this right and uh, he got one point. And uh, maybe in the next uh, edition of this show, we will decide how many points we should give because this is a tougher, tougher question to, to answer. No, so, no, Bumi, no, no, no. Bumi, I'm this coming. <laughs> I'm coming to you, Bumi. I'm coming to you uh, next. All right, let me see where is my screen. Okay, your first question. One of these questions, um, one of them is true, the other two are uh, false. Your first question, uh, the president of Nigeria vowed to make sure that Nigeria won't be a transit hub for illegal drugs. Nigeria's president vowed that Nigeria will not be a transit hub for illegal drugs drugs question number one um, the, the first story uh, the second story is this he finished at the un and stopped over in paris to see his girlfriend yeah. um the, the the third story that is the nigeria's president the third story is uh, this he was buried alive until people started complaining and his body was exhumed the the last story is true <laughs> the last story is true no oh, it's not <laughs> wait 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 say, say the story again no no it don't fit it don't fit right. <laughs> no no no, no. <laughs> Look, i knew i knew i was gonna say that though i knew i was gonna say that <laughs> see, oh, no. if i'd written it i mean how it would have been you know but i didn't i didn't write these stories it's not just you that will believe No, not just you that will believe that. A lot of people will actually believe that. If you, they follow the story really well and they saw blood and every other thing, they will say, "Oh yeah, the guy wasn't dead." And all that. So, so, so the first story was that uh, President Bola Tinubu vowed to make sure that Nigeria will not be a transit hub <laughs> for illicit drugs. Is okay. that story true or false? I want to say true because say it's, true. it's something you that everyone want to say it, but you have not said it. Is <laughs> <laughs> um, that your final answer? I know, <laughs> I know the second story is not true. That one is definitely not true. Oh, the second story. I'll go for the first story. The first story. <laughs> Yeah. All right, that's true. <laughs> I, I think I think Namikos, I should have kept quiet. I know that one is gonna get you. <laughs> yeah, but that's very true. Yeah, it's true that but we are going to deal with people who are in the drugs, uh, moving drugs around. All right, so at the end of the competition, Ovier scored 
13 points, while Bumi scored 18 points. Okay, do you have anything to say for yourself? Yes, this is, uh, I see the spirit of Yakubu. Ahmed Yakubu, Abandek, plays out here, so I'm going to court. You're going to court. I'm appealing, I'm appealing. Congratulations for winning the first episode of Waiting from Sammy. Waiting from Sammy is going to be a weekly program that we are going to show you across Nigerian media space. And we will open it up to our audience to also participate. And very soon we'll be getting uh, some uh, famous people to join us in this uh, in this quiz show. Thank you very much for watching. And hopefully you will join us again next time for another edition of Waiting Concern Me. I am your host, uh, Dr. Damages uh, Ovie. Thank you so much for being here. And Bumi, thank, thank you, you so thank much. You, thank, you, thank, you. thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Until next week, I'll see you guys. From Miracle Post Studios in New York City, welcome to What in Concern Me, your favorite news and current affairs quiz show. I am your host, Dr. Jackery Damages.